My name is uh, Arno and with this video tutorial I will show you how to set up the tools using uh, Adobe Illustrator. I'm using uh, version uh, CS3, they're up to uh, CS5 now, but it uh, it's just similar. Now, I already opened here a pencil design that was scanned. It's on one layer. Now, uh, if you don't have the layers open, you can select them by clicking Window and Layers uh, tools. Uh, you also have the Stroke and so on. Now, this is on uh, the design is on one layer. I lock it by clicking lock, visible, and visible. So, add another layer, I'll double click on it, I can change the name, I will call this one uh, Victor. Uh, I can change the color here, it's not the, the, the color of the stroke, but it's the color of the uh, anchor points in the direction lines, and so sometimes if they're black you don't see them well, so uh, red is okay. Uh, I will do it uh, blue now because I will draw the lines in red. So here is this is the uh, stroke color and this is the fill color. We don't need a fill color so by double clicking on the uh, stroke color I pick up something like this. Okay, so now I'm be working on the vector layer and I will trace this design but now whether or not you are uh, starting with a pencil uh, scan it design or not you can just as well draw directly uh, with your uh, Wacom tablet and plastic pen doesn't matter, but I will explain that later. Now, most important, what I want to show you in this tutorial is uh, the importance of setting up the tools. So now, one, uh, when you click Edit, Preferences, are the uh, the units and display performance. Now, by default, these are all on points but here in Europe millimeters make more sense but you can use uh, inches uh, pixels points whatever you want as long as it makes sense so uh, even the stroke I put it on uh, millimeters so press OK now the main tools we will use uh, to design are of course the pen and the pencil now this is uh, the pencil tool when you uh, click on it with the uh, left mouse or the uh, Wacom tablet you see there are also the smooth tool and the pet eraser now instead of uh, always going from here and selecting another one we can drag this out by holding down and clicking on the tear off button and then we can drag it closer to our curves now this is the pencil tool we will use to uh, make a pad, a curve, a stroke, however you call it and uh, by double clicking you can change the preferences now if I push the reset this is the default so smooth, smoothness is zero fidelity two and a half so uh, keep selected uh, put this on uh, you can sometimes it's easier to put it off but I, I will show you this way now so now the smoothness of a, a pet of or a curve you are drawing is also depending on 
how many you zoom in or out. So now this is uh, 2400 percent and as you will see zooming in totally uh, this line is not uh, straight enough certainly not for a novice to know where to cut so that's why if you want to make this design ready for transfer it's easier to uh, trace it and uh, with a very tiny line now so I pick up the pencil tool with the default setting and when I trace this using my Wacom tablet you can do it with a mouse holding down the left key you see yes the, the stroke is uh, too wide so I push the stroke button and I change this in millimeters make it less but you see so I had the color of the uh, anchor points set in blue so if they were red they would be hard, much harder to see but you see there are a lot of those so I can redraw this line but it doesn't it won't come out smooth like I want it so I'll show you if you double click the pencil tool and put the fidelity uh, to 8 we will change smooth less later but fidelity it's uh, most important so if I do this again so delete this one uh, you will see it's already much better and I have one two three four anchor points now uh, and as long as this path or curve is selected I can redraw it make it longer so I don't have to draw the curve all at once now double click again and I will add 50 percent smoothness so this is something I prefer but of course you can amount the fidelity the smoothness just experiment with this but default it's the baddest uh, settings so press OK now this is something we can uh, use and of course later we can uh, we got two selecting tools, a white and a black one. The white one is uh, to manipulate the uh, anchor points and the direction lines. lines. Uh, but I will explain that later. So uh, when you want to do another one, make sure the one that's selected, uh, you deselect it first. So you do this by selecting the white one selecting tool click anywhere in the design and it's deselected to reselect it just click on the path and now it's selected if you want to work again on that path so deselect now pick up the pencil tool again and we'll do some other ones and this is the way uh, we will want them to be now if you want to make a small turn here like a teardrop zoom in a bit and make the curves and, uh, and this way you can do the old design and now if they are not uh, joint doesn't matter that much there's another an easier way to do this but I will tell about that later as well and uh, so this is the way with preferences show you again 9 fidelity 50 smoothness now same you can do with the smoothing tool so by default it's uh, also two and a half but put it uh, 9 8 doesn't matter a little bit more okay because there's another tool uh, which is the 
pen tool. Now, this is a very easy way if you don't have uh, a tablet, you just can click. And as you see, it, it's not really a curve. And we have a lot of anchor points and straight lines. But it's uh, very controllable uh, to, uh, to trace. That's why I call it a monkey tool. Because I think everyone can do this. And uh, you don't need... A tablet for this, just the uh, a mouse, left click, wherever you want, and then pick up the smooth tool, and you don't have to follow the uh, the path totally. Do it a few times, and you can change this curve. In a smooth one, having less anchor points, and uh, quite similar. You can even use after that while the uh, path of or curve is selected. <coughs> can come back with the uh, pencil tool and correct it as well. Make corrections. Uh, if it's too long you can erase this tell about that later of course and uh, so you can do the whole design and as you will see uh, when I open the layers I can hide the scanned image and even then I can make adjustment because I'm working on the vector layer so by uh, selecting this curve for instance saying yes Got to change this one. I can do it with the smooth tool, and I I can also do it with the pencil tool if I say okay, draw this a little bit more like this. So you can make corrections. But my main uh, purpose in this tutorial is changing this. Now. I will make uh, other tutorials uh, later show you another thing uh, to prove the importance of uh, the anchor points when I draw for instance uh, a circle or an ellipse you will see I only need four anchor points to draw one so that's why if for a half circle or a curve you only need three so uh, but it only works if you change the preferences so if, if you see there is one two three four but you can redraw it adjust it and you can also do this uh, using the uh, pen tool so uh, if you want to draw directly without tracing you could use uh, the pen say make a circle uh, in a way you could start with a square use the uh, smoothing tool and come out with a sort of circle yes they're not closed of course and the curve is uh, open that's why these are two different so if you join them um, even then you see and show you only a few anchor points so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will be working on uh, other tutorials soon